What up everybody, Larry here, the FUC. Got a different little video today. I'm gonna do a uh, little review of a Blu-ray that I got in about a month ago, but I have not yet watched it. It is called Yule Log. Um, I don't really know anything about this movie. Um, it was just a movie that I, uh, uh, I guess, did on, uh, supported on Indiegogo. And I do that with a lot of movies, especially if they look cool. Or if you know you can get something for cheap, like hey, a $20 Blu-ray. Not these like $50 Blu-rays and crap people do. You want a DVD? $45. That's stupid. Your movie probably is going to suck anyways. But yeah, this is put out by SRS Cinema. Um, everybody, I mean, if you collect movies nowadays, especially independent horror, you're going to have a shitload of SRS. But, um... So... Colonial Brothers, I don't really know anybody that's in it. I'm sure it's pretty low budget. Movies like this, you know, these are independents. So 95%, they're actually not very good movies, but it's, you know, people that are trying and that's more than I can say. And 99.9%, um, .9 the actors or actresses are horrible, but it's not like I'm acting in it, so I can't say nothing. But uh, yeah, all you have to do, if you're an independent person, for me to buy it, Make a cool ass fucking cover. Like, a badass cover like that is always gonna make me buy it. Badass cover, half ass name. I mean, I actually like this name, Yule Log. Yule Log's fucking badass. But I'm saying, movies, if you just have a half ass name and a badass cover, your movie can suck ass. I'm still gonna add this to my collection because it looks cool as shit. But yeah, Yule Log. When I think of Yule Log, I think of, you know, giving Christmas time. Um, this movie is Christmas, of course. Uh, related at least it looks like Yule Log is um I like um every year at Christmas time we always go to my cousin's house and celebrate Christmas and I always take a picture you know leaving my Yule Log at her house um by that I mean taking a shit while I'm there and posting it on Facebook me sitting on her toilet um saying hey um I'm leaving you my Yule Log pretty much family tradition so uh Hope the rest of y'all go ahead and um, share love with your families this holiday season and leave your Yule Log at their house. And um, please share it on Facebook and other social medias and um, help spread the joy of family Yule Logs. Um, it's Christmas season's all about giving, so what better, better way to give than with the old family Yule Log. Anyways, I'm going to go check out this movie right fast. Be back in about an hour and a half or so, and we'll see what it's actually about. If it's worth the shit, give me a minute. Back from her tongue, many hideous incantations and spells. I'll tell you so far, and this narrator the woods of her is boring as shit. But here we go, Colonial Brothers. Cool little starter scene. Yule log. All right, let's do it. Oh my God, I just had to show y'all. I think this is supposed to be fire. I don't know what, it's like fucking fairies or dragonflies flying, flying around. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> that just looks so stupid. Fuck. I just want to tell what this looks like. It happened after I put that fresh wood cut into the fireplace. Well, what the hell's that got to do with anything? There he is. Winter. Pearl, who are they? What the hell? I don't even know what the fuck to say. Okay, so very interesting movie. Um, so, like I said before, it's a SRS cinema. It's independent underground movie. I mean, it's not no big blockbuster movie. So, it's not going to be the greatest movies ever. Um, so, 
The acting, of course, wasn't the greatest, but I've seen way worse. I've seen way worse on actual some bigger movies. Um, so I can't hate on that. The The characters weren't horrible. And there was really only four characters in the movie that even had speaking lines. And then there was a couple in masks. Um, shit, I guess it was only like seven, eight, eight characters in the whole movie that I can remember. But uh, uh, supposedly... I guess back in the days, there was somebody named, I think it was Druinda, Drilda, I don't really remember, some weird name like that. I guess was killed or something in the woods, fucking now has taken over the woods. Now there's like one day of the year, there's the woods turn into the day of the women or something like that. Night of the women. I don't really remember the exact term. But um, come to nowadays, these three old dudes... These three old buddies, um, one of them, uh, their his wife just died, so the other two decide to take him on a little, like, camping trip for the week at this, uh, cabin in the woods, and, uh, it happens to be, you know, that day, and while they're there, the woods start fucking, like, growing and getting closer and blows up their car and shit, even though they have no even reaction to the car blowing up, um, yeah, real cheesy and corny, um, Pretty much, there's another woman that shows up, but she's possessed like some uh, evil dead shit. A uh, bunch of people die. One old dude, one of the old dudes live. In fact, he ends up killing the uh, the main witch, whatever her name was. Like I said, Jorinda or some shit like that. Which now, well, now she looks like a witch in some like dollar store uh, witch costume. He ends up stabbing and killing her, but somehow she ends up turning into this giant like three headed fucking Hydra dragon or something. Don't know where that came from. Uh, and then, like, throws a stick of fire at the giant monster and it kills it. I don't know. It's a fucking underground independent movie. You, it's all you can think about. It's all you can, all you really need to know. Uh, so for the movie, and there's even, there's two dudes that are, like, randomly in the movie wearing fucking, like, family dollar fucking plastic black uh, skull masks. I don't know. Movie's only like an hour and 11 minutes long. And so you take out the fucking uh, narrator who talks two different points in the movie for like fucking 10 minutes. Um, and then you take out uh, all the little cameos that uh, people did from, you know, uh, Indiegogo and stuff. You know, playing a doctor or a news reporter or whatever, radio host. Take all that out. The movie's probably about 45 minutes long. So I think if you would have tried, if they would have been tried a little harder you know, with more of the actual storyline that it would have um, worked out a lot better because it's just a lot of shit. You don't know what the hell's going on. The movie's over and you still have no clue what the hell is going on or what happened. Um, but not bad. Like I said, I've seen way, way worse. I, I own a lot of way, way worse that I've never even finished. And I fucking made it straight through this movie, mainly because it was short, and but it was interesting. Horrible uh, special effects. But, um, hey... I mean, it's, you don't have a big budget to pay for really good shit, so it is what it is, and I fucking totally respect that, but, um, so yeah, for the movie, what it is, I mean, I give it a fucking one and a half thumbs up, because, uh, it's not, not, not terrible at all, I mean, I'll, I'll rate it on an independent underground movie, horror movie, I'd probably give it like a fucking six or a seven out of a ten, I totally fucking don't hate it at all. It's just in the middle of the road, fucking. And it was, you know, interesting for what it was. One old dude killed me. And the dude that looked like my old fucking, um, a, a fucking dude from Puppet Master. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, he did. But yeah, good movie. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone unless, you know, you're somebody like me that fucking would still enjoy a shitty underground movie. But uh, if you are someone like that, yeah, I fucking recommend you watching it. It's a cool movie. Definitely a cool movie. Cover art's fucking awesome. And that's all that matters to me mainly because it's going to go in my collection now. I mean, I won't watch it again after that first time. And uh, it'll just look cool sitting on the shelf. So, yeah, appreciate y'all. Um, I do, like I said, recommend uh, going to Indiegogo and supporting um, independent movies. Especially ones that don't want to charge you an arm and a leg for just if you just want a Blu-ray or DVD like this one. Um, was real cheap. I think it was like twenty bucks. And if, anytime I see one for like a Blu-ray for like twenty bucks on Indiegogo, I'm definitely gonna support the film. Uh, 
I'm not going to support any of their daily. They want like $40 for a Blu-ray or $50 for a Blu-ray. And your movie's probably going to be balls. But, uh, yeah. Also, people that want to be in the movies like that. Yeah, that's cool. To get in that movie, make you, your little scene. Um, and whatever it costs you. I mean, as long as it's not like a whole lot. But if, if somebody's like, hey, you're going to be in a movie for 50 bucks, and I mean, that's cool. Why not? You get a chance to be in the fucking movie. Go for it. Anyways, yeah, definitely. Where is it at? Go check out. Check out the movie. If you like independent movies, you'll log. Uh, Plenty of Brothers. Man, we do a lot of shark movies and stuff. But uh, this was not bad at all. One and a half thumbs up. Something like that. Anyways, appreciate y'all watching. As always, do whatever you want. Deuces. Just like